Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Three brand new events have just been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. So three brand new events are coming to Scarlet and Violet later this week as of recording this video on the 21st of January. We've got a brand new Terror Raid event that's coming from the 26th and running till the 28th. It will be a Spotlight Terror Raid event again, not a 7-star Terror Raid event. The Blaziken 7-star Terror Raid event has just finished and I personally was expecting another 7-star Terror Raid event running this week. But it looks like things are changing up in the interim. We are going to have exclusively to Pokemon Scarlet the Flutterman featuring over this weekend and then the iron jugglers will be featured in pokemon violet like i say these will be five star terror raids and more like a spotlight terror raid event rather than what we've seen recently with the seven star terror raid. so not as difficult a raid event as we'd normally expect to see alongside these events this week running from the 26th till the 28th we've got the return of mass outbreak events to scarlet and violet as well and these are all pokemon that are version exclusive so in Pokemon Scarlet you're going to get exclusively Skunky and Skrelp in your versions and then in Pokemon Violet you would normally get Gulpin and Clauncher but these are all going to be appearing in both versions of the game and will be featuring rare and uncommon marks depending on the game version that you've got we'll get into the details in a moment and the final event we've got running alongside this is gonna be a new global challenge that has been announced now this isn't running this coming weekend but the registration for this opens on the 25th of january and will be commencing at the beginning of February running Regulation F rule set. Just to take a deeper dive, you can see the next Terror Raid battle has been announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This event will feature a focus on Pokemon Fluttermane if you play Pokemon Scarlet and Iron Jugulus if you play Pokemon Violet. So although they're in separate versions of the game, you will still be able to go online and encounter these Pokemon from other players who have the opposite version to you hosting these. You'll be able to go in and get the opposite version of these Pokemon for your collection. Although I'm sure a lot of you by now probably have all of these Pokemon anyway. The same can be said for the Mass Outbreak event. Now, like normal Mass Outbreak events that we've had recently where we've had increased shiny odds these haven't got the increased shiny odds but they do have increased rates for having the uncommon and rare marks depending on the game that you've got so as you can see here the next mass outbreak event has been announced for pokemon scarlet and violet this event will feature a focus on the pokemon gulpin skunky Skrelp, and clauncher and will feature outbreaks with the chance of getting the uncommon or rare marks Skunky and Skrelp will be more likely to get the uncommon mark in Scarlet and the rare mark in Pokemon Violet and Gulpin and Clauncher more likely to get the rare mark in Pokemon Scarlet and the uncommon mark in Violet. This event, like we've said, will run from midnight UTC on January the 26th and run through to 2359 UTC on January the 28th. So it looks like both of these events will just be running for the one weekend which is this coming weekend from the friday until the sunday evening so it's a good chance to take advantage of this while you can if you just started the games of course it's going to be a good opportunity to get some of these event exclusives in your game especially with those rare remarks that do have those increased chances of appearing in these outbreaks and then on to the global challenge as well the next pokemon scarlet and violet online competition has been announced this competition is the global challenge 2024 and runs the standard regulation f rule set registration for this is open from midnight utc on the 25th of january and runs until the 1st of february at midnight our battles run from the 2nd of February through to the 4th of February. So it'll be the following week after the registration kind of opens. This competition also gives 100,000 league points, a gold bottle cap and an ability patch to all players who complete three or more battles. So even if you don't want to compete in this tournament, you can go in, you can register for free and then do three battles. You don't even need to do the battles. You can just lose them and you're going to get all of these rewards. But it's worth doing just for this. Players in Japan and Korea can use this competition in order to earn a place in the qualifier for their national competitions. 
to then try and battle for a place in this year's World Championships. So even though it is primarily a qualifier for Japanese and Korean players, it is open to the rest of the world. So the rest of us will still be able to compete in this tournament. But these are the three events that are running. Like I say, I'm pretty surprised that the Spotlight Terror event is coming this weekend. It's nice to see the mass outbreaks returning as well, but the Spotlight Terror event is definitely thrown a curveball my way. I was expecting to see another Gen 3 7 star Terror, but I'm assuming we'll probably have to wait and get that the following week which will then take us a little step closer to pokemon day but what do you think the next seven star terror Raid event will be do you think it will be one of those gen 3 starters or do you think it will be a mix up again and we'll see finally something like venusaur or the blastoise that i'm still expecting us to see at some point and i really hope as well we do get the paldean starters as well i think they're pokemon that i would like to see in seven star raids this is scarlet and violet and to get those as the starter pokemon in the terror raids at some point would be very nice especially as a seven star terror Raid event but let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you found this information useful today. Thank you so much as always for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.